Welcome to Satvik Infotech DevOps series. As part of this session, right? So, what are we going to look at? So, uh, in our last series, we have successfully completed our Linux uh, shell scripting. So, with that keeping as a base, we are going to start with GitHub. So, what are we going to do? In earlier session, we have written like multiple scripts uh, as part of our use case and everything, right? And now we are going to try to add them in a version control system so that whenever we we are in need of or whenever we need to refer it back we are always uh, free to check those details right so that's what we are going to do so before we actually start with that let me give you a basic overview uh, what is a versioning control system why do we basically need a github why not other tools right so uh, in the earlier days right we were been uh, using multiple uh, versioning uh, systems basically so one among them to to name few among them like we have used the concurrent version uh, versioning system which is nothing but cvs we have used tata ssv uh, tata ssvn and also like uh, if people have been familiar with uh, microsoft sharepoint even there we do have like versioning system where you keep track of your uh, check in and check outs right so it's all kind of a few examples which we have been uh, using in the past okay so you can ask me now right so kumar what does this versioning system make difference with the earlier one or the earlier existing one so that's a pretty much a basic question everybody uh, will be having it right so to make that very clear the earlier versioning systems was right it's all kind of centralized as i said about cvs it's a centralized version control system so when we say centralized it means that all the code whatever you are saving into the system it's all getting saved in a particular location in your server basically the server may be on your local or server may be on your remote somewhere it will be like a physical machine which is getting uh, holding all your uh, codes and everything is getting maintained in a version form so let's assume that in case of any issues okay for example let's take uh, within a smaller organization i dedicate one server as my uh, version control server okay so let me open up uh, <coughs> notepad for uh, kind of a better understanding right so let's take in an organization like uh, five to ten people are working okay what they will do they will be around having like five to six servers so in which that uh, okay sorry five to six machines basically so what i generally do i will install the cvs in one machine and make it as a kind of a master okay so where all your your codes are getting saved okay so what generally people try to do is so whenever they want to do any changes with the code they just go to that repository check out that particular piece of code and meantime right when you check out a particular piece of code meantime it's locked for uh, editing for others okay that's a more important point which you have to look in uh, when you are working with uh, centralized uh, versioning system so whatever the file you check out that particular file will be locked for others until you do your activity and check into the system okay so what happens like okay in the recent agile world so many teams are working in parallel many developers within your team uh, needs to work on certain files parallel so locking one particular file for uh, writing does not make much sense in this current uh, trend okay with this agile uh, model so when people were uh, thinking around like kind of an alternate solution that's where github come into picture okay what how does github solve this problem so in this case what happens is like you have a master server okay ideally speaking like github might also have a master server maybe it may be residing in uh, either in the form of cloud or in the physical server which we really don't care okay but how does it actually solve this problem so that's where right so when i say about cvs it's a centralized version control system when we speak about github it is a distributed version control system okay the keyword is here is distributed okay what do you mean by distributed okay in the cvs the problem is the entire code repository was lying on 
a single machine which is nothing but either you call it as a master or you call it as your server whatever it is right so the entire code repository which will be lying on your master or uh, server whereas with the github yes ideally it's going to be the most of the same process right it's going to be reside either in your cloud or either in your server or whatever it is we don't want to get into that level of complexity right now so github maintains your all your codes in some place in one server okay but how does git tackle all these uh, problems which i have highlighted earlier it's all about it creates or it enables you to keep your own copy until you complete the work by that way it does not lock your original master copy which is present on the server for example if kumar wants to work on certain piece of code kumar will just clone the entire repository to my local and it works now from now onwards kumar will be interacting with my local repository which is again going to be a kind of a centralized for kumar okay whatever the uh, commits i do and everything i will just uh, do it in my local until once i feel that okay okay i am done with my code and everything is tested then kumar tries to push or kumar tries to raise a push request to the remote which is nothing but github to ensure that my changes are getting synchronized or merged with the actual productionized code this is a process right the same way for example if multiple people want to work on the same piece of code multiple uh, team members want to use the same piece of code what they do everybody will have their own repository cloned on their machines okay i hope i am making sense right so everybody will have their own copy of code everybody will start doing the changes either on the same scripts or multiple scripts everything right so once things are done and things are settled they synchronize the local code with the uh, remote repository which is nothing but our github okay you can ask me hey kumar like uh, for example if i am doing some xxxy and if i have not synchronized with my uh, remote well, will that be visible to someone else who is also parallelly working no so there is a concept called okay until you synchronize or push your codes to the remote the people will not able to do or people now will not able to view the changes whatever you are done on your local but will that is version yes whatever the changes you do today and commit everything will get version and saved in your local repository okay that's a very very key point here which we are going to look into in detail throughout our series okay i hope i made very clear so that's what like i have pretty much covered in all these sessions right what is code management what is collaboration what is versioning and everything and also i have created like what is architecture which is like centralized version system and uh, dcvcs is nothing but a distributed versioning system and now we will look at okay how do i start with git github basically it's an open source project which is available for free to use for everybody okay so if i want to create uh, a github okay i need to basically log into an url called github.com okay so first of all you need to log into github.com so there there will be an option to sign up as i mentioned it's open source project is free of uh, free to use but again being an open source right many industry as hesitant are shown hesitant to use that because though they, they don't get an enterprise level or enterprise standard of support in case of any issues so what uh, people have started doing it they wrapped this github around uh, with their own framework or framework scripts and they extended uh, saying that okay we do support in case of any issues and everything and that's where you got like multiple other projects like github sorry uh, bitbucket and other things like that okay many teams use bitbucket and everything right so that's where it all came even github provides you like enterprise support license with cost which involves like uh, support feature and everything okay if you guys really want to explore all those things in the github.com you will see something like pricing where it will say like uh, free what are the things you can do as a team like it's a team basically if you, in a, you are in a team uh, like what you can do okay if you need an enterprise level of support what you can do so the basic differences will come like here okay exclusive add ons and security premium support and related to the storage is something like that nothing much whatever the things you can do with uh, uh, team and enterprise most of the thing we can do 
but there are few additional features have been like kind of if you want to include the approval for example i want to push the changes to the remote but if you want to include someone to review it and approve it that's where like uh, all this uh, enterprise kind of uh, uh, licensing makes sense but for our training purpose i think we can we are very much good to use free account okay so how do i create a free account with github right so go and cl uh, click on a sign up it's very uh, pretty easy and straightforward okay when you go to sign out it, it will ask for an email so my email id is at gmail.com has been already used for github so i am going to use a dummy account just to show you like how to create that okay i'm just going to click on continue it's asking me to create a password so i have given some dummy password okay it says that okay your password might be compromised password is not in the safe company other websites okay okay i have used uh, one more password okay now enter the username which you want to see it on the screen let me put like satvik uh, devops okay it says it's available then it says like uh, would you like to receive any announcement i am going to say no because i am not interested on that okay it says like verify your account so basically the certification process i either go with audio or you can uh, even see it but now i think they are enforcing with audio so let me hear the audio and verify okay it says like uh, use uh, arrows to rotate right so basically i need to rotate this image in the uh, the same way like how this uh, hand is showing so let me submit okay it says done okay now if i click on create account it just simply create an account by sending an email because as i mentioned right uh, this is a email id which i have been used very very uh, long days back which i really don't know the password so if you guys know the password if you just enter the code what you received in this email your account will get created so it's a pretty simple process once you have been created the account you will get landing into the page which i am going to show you now okay basically you will be landing into some page like github.com where you will not see any of the repositories it will be like very much empty okay maybe let me go back home so this is where you will be uh, landing into so as a next step okay what i will do maybe from the the next step onwards like i can able to cover you in the next session with this like uh, guys be ready with this uh, this setup so i have a github account and uh, just try to log in and see whether you are able to log in and everything from this on which we are going to look into like actual usage of git account like okay github account how to create a repositories and how to add uh, the code to the repository how to clone there are much more uh, interesting things to come which a yeah, devops engineer should be very much aware of so we will cover everything in our uh, next upcoming session okay thanks for watching if you guys feel uh, this session is really interesting and uh, informative i would like the uh, teams to subscribe to my channel and like and share to your friends and colleagues too thanks for watching guys